and welcome back to another video on my youtube channel so in this video i'm going to show you how do you know uh, when you go to any dev website like this one and you have this button here i'm going to show you what we are going to do by example you have this button that says connect wallet and when you click it the metamask uh, pops up and then and then you can connect your accounts you can click next and connect and this basically connects you to the web website so now you can use it and this is basically it allows you to add some networks and you can add them by going here but i'm going to show you how you can let's not go any further i'm going to show you how you can connect your website you only uh, like the, or basically connect your wallet to the website only using javascript just like we did here on this chain list website so when I said uh, we are only going to use JavaScript, I lied a little bit because we're going to, uh, let's say if I just go up here, I have Visual Studio Code here and I have opened an empty folder that's called video and we're going to use only JavaScript, uh, we're not even going to use any other package. So let's create our website. On our website we're going to have just one button. Uh, that's going to be called connect wallet so let's create our index HTML and then you can create a boilerplate code by doing exclamation mark then just pressing enter so you have your boilerplate code and then you will just add dap title here save this and you need to have the live server extension to be able to put this in the browser so just right click click on open with live server and it should pop up in your browser by default so if we go up here we don't have anything we have only the dev title now let's create our button here just do button like so we're going to call this connect uh, wallet and we're going to also add an unclick event that's going to be also called connect wallet and we're going to not only pass a reference to this function but also trigger this function by using these parentheses and we're going to define or i should say declare this function in a file called um, index.js and we're going to link this file by adding a script here and, and the source is going to be index.js and we have not created this file yet so let's do exactly that by click right clicking new file then saying index.js and in here let's just start by declaring this function that's going to be called connect wallet i'm going to copy paste this because we don't want to make any mistakes and then I'm going to just console.log just to test it if this works. So just uh, print A, save this, go into my browser. And I'm also going to click on inspect to pull up the Google Chrome DevTools, go inside console. And now if I can click on this button, I'm going to just get A printed out. So it means, which means we have successfully uh, linked this function to this button on click event so now all, we, all you have to do is go ahead and let's we need to actually use the window and I'm going to show you this when you're using when you have installed MetaMask as a Google Chrome extension here like I have here you can uh, MetaMask basically injects a in a global object into this Google Chrome Dev DevTools, which you can access by going into window dot Ethereum. Then, if you click this, you can see how we have this object, and basically this object specifies or shows you all the credentials of the user, which you will later use to send transaction, connect wallet, like we're going to do right now. So let's go ahead and say window dot ethereum to access this global object and then we're going to call this request uh, method here 
and here we just need to pass an object that's called method and then we I'm going to just paste this in because from my second screen and here you can it's very important because whenever you're connecting your wallet uh, let's, let's try to disconnect here or I cannot so whenever you you're connecting uh, your wallet or you're asking the user for permission to connect his wallet to the your dApp website uh, this action may uh, revert or th the user can actually reject the connection so you, you need to handle errors or you need to catch errors and that's exactly what we're going to do here so I'm going to say catch and then in this catch I'm going to define a function an arrow function that has an argument which is error and here in the function body we need to do some air handling here but for the purposes of this video I'm just going to print out the air code so I'm going to access air and then print out the code uh, so we're not going to handle the errors you can see we're using the I don't know which one but I think EIP1102 standard to work with this so you can Google the error codes and handle them properly. We're not going to do that right now. So I'm also this is in in whenever you're you're making a transaction to the blockchain or anything, you're making a transaction which is asynchronous operation. And I'm so we need to use this await keyword, and we cannot use this await keyword if we do not specify that this is in an async function. So I'm going to do a sync here. This is basically just doing promises. And I'm going to just say accounts because here uh, this await transaction or I should only say transaction returns us all the, the connected accounts. As you saw previously, you can connect multiple accounts to your dApp website at once. And I'm also going to print out those accounts by saying console log and then accounts. So that's all the code you need. This is the only code you need as JavaScript in JavaScript. So let's go to the browser, test this out. Let's click on connect wallet. So this is going to pop up. Isn't, isn't this so cool? I mean, you can do only in few lines of code. You can connect your wallet to your dApp website so this is the part where I said you can connect multiple accounts on this specific account I have only two so I can select the two of them or just one if I'm uh, if I'm a bad boy so I'm going to click on next I'm going to click on connect so it's starting to connect and now as you can see we've printed out these two accounts and this is basically the accounts here that we're printing out now I have only one account as you can see this is an array and in at the index 0 we have the first account because I have only connected one account so far but let's try to delete the cookies I think to start over uh, and to disconnect basically this account so I just relaunched this website so I can disconnect the wallet and show you what happens if you reject this connection. So let's click on connect wallet. Whoops, we just connected automatically. So I just found out it's very easy to disconnect this wallet. You don't have to do it programmatically through code. You just you can just go up here in your MetaMask. You can go, go here and open your MetaMask. And you can see it's connected now to this website. You can click here. This is the website that's connected to it's local on localhost and this is the account that's connected so you can specifically go to the specific account click on the three dots and then just disconnect this account so we're going to exit this go up here click on connect to wallet now the metamask pops up again so what if i do cancel let's see what happens so we got this error here which is rpc error and this is the code you get the error here and you also get 
their code that we're printing out here in the if I go to the index.js you're going to see we're printing out their code and this is why I said previously that it's very important for you to handle those errors because now the user doesn't know what's happening mm -hmm.